Nestled amongst the mist-shrouded hills of England stands Corf Castle, a once majestic fortress steeped in centuries of history and tragedies. Originally conceived by the hands of William the Conqueror, and later transformed into the royal palace of King John, its towering walls now stand as a silent witness to its tumultuous past. During the chaos of the English Civil War, the castle became a battleground, fiercely defended by Lady Banks against the onslaught of parliamentary soldiers who sought out its destruction. But even in its darkest hours, Corf Castle could not escape the echoes of its bloody history. Tales of beheadings, imprisonments, and murders lingered in its ancient stones. Now, as the ruins crumble and the shadows lengthen, the haunted legacy of the castle begins to awaken. Visitors speak of flickering lights in the dead of night, the mournful cries of a long-departed child, the spectral figure of a headless lady in white, said to be Lady Banks herself, drifting through the ruins. Yet the castle's spectral inhabitants are not confined to its crumbling walls alone. In the nearby tea rooms and stock rooms, ghostly apparitions have made their presence known. While a legion of Roman soldiers marches relentlessly at the foot of the castle, they are forever bound to their restless patrol. As twilight descends on Corf Castle, the veil between the living and the dead thins, and the echoes of the past resound with chilling clarity.